Hi everyone and welcome to our Human Analysis Lab, where we have our Move for the Laboratory for Research Projects. My name is Alfredo and today I will show you the key technical features of this equipment. Okay, so the first things you see when you get in is that there is plenty of open space between the scanning volume and the modules. And that the modules are deliberately placed in two rows to create a free lane to capture go-through motions. The scanning space is quite large. In this case, with a 16 module configuration, it is two meters wide, three meters long, and three meters high. We also have a 12 module configuration which keeps the same height, but makes the length go from three meters to two meters. One of the characteristics of Move4D is that you can scale it. You can start acquiring a 12 module configuration of 2x2 and a year later extend it to 2x3 by acquiring four additional modules and building a 16 module configuration. Despite the laboratory has a large footprint, we can build Move4D modules with wider optics to fit smaller spaces, bringing the columns closer to the scanning volume. Modules can either be mounted in columns or in walls. Move4D uses a wand calibration method. We chose this method because it makes it very easy and fast to get an accurate and robust calibration. Another characteristic of Move4D that is critical for conducting research is that it can be synchronized with other equipment. It is ready for trigger in, synchro in and synchro out. For instance, we have installed uh, photo cells at the beginning and the end of the, of the running lane so that it can trigger the scanner. At this moment, we also have a motion capture system with a synchro in, okay? And a set of RGB cameras that are synchronized with synchro out. These examples are related with our ongoing data gathering to develop new technologies based on deep learning from move for the content paired with other biometric signals. But possibilities are endless. This laboratory can open new research lines that we cannot even imagine today. Move4D captures shape and texture simultaneously. Each module captures shape with a pair of infrared cameras and texture with an RGB camera. Lighting elements can be added to the structure to obtain a more uniform texture and color. The fact of capturing shape and texture simultaneously makes it possible to capture at high frequencies. This is up to 178 FPS at medium resolution and 90 FPS at high resolution. At maximum frame rates, the equipment is able to capture 55 seconds at mid resolution and 25 seconds at high resolution. Well, I think it's time to measure, right? First, we are going to capture one person in A pose and then the same person running. Regarding data outcomes, the unique feature of this laboratory is that move for this software incorporates anthropometric and biomechanical processing. What you obtain is a sequence of homologous meshes. A homologous mesh is a textured, watertight mesh of 50,000 vertices that is fitted to the captured point cloud using AI and proprietary template fitting software. This mesh has a point-to-point -point correspondence along the sequence of frames and across different subjects. It is actually having 50,000 landmarks on the body surface captured. A subset of these landmarks 
includes key anatomical references and lines. These organized datasets are therefore ready to be used in your research and development work. Moreover, at each frame, you can also obtain an estimate of 23 joint positions and a linear blend skinning per frame that can be exported in FBX format. From APOS, you can also obtain more than 100 standard static body measurements. Currently, this type of anthropometric and biomechanical processing is conceived to capture humans in tight garments and with fists closed, according to standards. Of course, in addition to this, we can also provide the typical outcomes that any other 3D or 4D scanner provides, like, for instance, a 3D point cloud or a non-organized mesh with holes. Let's see an example. And here we have the captured example. Last but not least, Move for the software also enables you to take screenshots and to record videos of the captures which is something certainly very useful to document your work. I think that's all, and I hope to see you soon.